Friday, July 15th, it's 1402 hours, and I'm hanging out here with my man Brad, Hi. who is learning the basics of CNC. He is currently moving the machine manually while we're making chips. And we are, we're turning metal for the first time in the new lab on the lathe, which is pretty cool. All right, we're gonna turn the coolant on, which we don't really need anyway, it's just fun to be able to turn the coolant on. All right, you can stop now. Okay, now we're gonna back out of X so we don't get chatter. You see the knobs are moving there. Okay, now we're gonna press stop and we're gonna hit our E stop. And when we hit the E stop, we can open this up and now we can turn this knob and bring it right back, just like that. But there you go, Brad. You've made chips. Here's, here's your chips. Here's your, your winnings. Your drippy chips. Yay. You got drippy chips, Brad. Yay. Brad cut metal. Yeah. And we're working on a project. We, we've got to turn those down to match OD for that. And uh, that goes in there, like that, there. And then we're going to put those together and we're going to make a big ring of art awesomeness for our set. So that's, that's our project du jour. job sir but it's an important one so you know it washes off
the nastiest, mankiest old air compressor on earth donated. And this won't be our main compressor, but we need a reservoir right now. So, in order to, there, there was about that much just rust and gunge and sludge and nasty in the bottom of the tank. Olivia. Yeah. <laughs> So, in order to clean it out, we have the machine shop tools have a flood coolant and it has a rust inhibitor in it and you mix this with water. So what we're doing is we've mixed up a batch of, of coolant just like we would for the machines and we poured it in the bottom of the tank. We vacuumed out everything we could first and he's been at that for an hour. We got all vacuumed out, now we're deflating in there, we're going to put the caps back on the inspection ports and agitate it and then vacuum it all up. So, this is our plan to try and resurrect this nasty old compressor. This won't be our main compressor. We got a nice one that the awesome Indiana chapter members donated. Um, they, did, they, they donated the money, so we got a real compressor. But we just got this in today, and we're gonna give it a shot and see if we can bring some life into it. And the two compressors together will be enough to supply all the air needs for our shop. These only have little one horsepower compressors on them, so they're way too tiny. This wouldn't begin, it's, it's only, all together, this is only a two horsepower air compressor, so it's a toy. But it has a giant 60 gallon tank under it, so that with the 80 gallon, five horsepower brand new compressor that'll be here next week, we're set, we're golden. It's everything we need, if we can bring the tank back to life. So we'll see, we're gonna try more as it happens. Now, from time to time, your parents may tell you to take out the trash. Here, it's a bit more serious project. Batman is taking out the trash with a forklift and a 20-foot truck. Did you ever notice how everybody looks like a total tool when they're hunched up on a forklift trying to look between the forks? It's one of those things that you just cannot look cool while doing. You could be Vin Diesel, and if you got a forklift and have to look through the forks, you're like, same thing. Same as drinking something through a straw. Be the coolest, most hardcore dude on earth. Cannot look cool drinking through a straw. Yeah, all but one in there. I'm not gonna tell him, but right now he bears a terrifying resemblance to the penguin when he bends his head way down like that. <laughs> I love you, Batman. <laughs> You're lucky this beat is going so can't. <laughs> he knows I'm saying something, he just doesn't know what, yeah. <laughs> Watch, he's gonna do his penguin look. Oh, no. What are we doing? Oh, we got stuff in the way. There you go, cobble pot, right there, see? Get the head way down. It's creepy looking once you notice it. I do the same thing on there. It's really bad when you're up at the truck. It's like my first whole month of forklift driving. Okay, watch. Normal guy, normal guy, normal guy. Normal guy, normal guy, normal guy. And then the whole head just goes right down the chest. Boom. Wait for it. There you go. Boom. Penguin. That's all of it, isn't it? Huh? That's all of it, right? There's that one right there, but we might be able to get that one in the dumpster.
You're full. <laughs> There's like six Gaylords in there. And if the dumpster's empty, toss that Gaylord right in the dumpster. Do it. It should easily fit. <laughs> 